Hey friends, so today's video is going to be my February TBR. I have a couple lengthy books here, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit shorter. But as you may know, with my 2018 goals video, I have a goal of reading three books every month. So far, I am just killing that goal, so I'm so excited. I'm probably just trying to get a little bit of a head start while I have the free time before baby arrives and just kind of get some of that, like definitely some self-care at this moment. I am in the third trimester, things are very crazy, I get very tired, and so this is such a nice way to pull back, relax, and do something for myself before all the madness kind of begins. So anyways, I've got uh, five books here, which I feel like is definitely a little bit like ambitious, but I think I can do it. I, I've kind of geeked out a little bit and did the math, and if I basically give myself one week for all the big books and then a couple days for the short little book here, I think I can squeeze it all in as long as I stay on track. Um, I also did start one of them a little bit early, so that's giving me a couple day head start, which is awesome because I think I'm gonna need it. But let's dive in, show you the books that I'm reading, and if you decide to read any of them as well, I would love to have you join me and do a like awesome little buddy read. One of them is actually a buddy read for the whole month, so I'm so excited. I will talk a little bit more about that and share that with you guys and make sure you have all the details. So if you wanna join in, you can, because as of this video, you were probably already a few days in, so definitely gonna give you some time to grab the book and catch up. So anyways, the first book uh, on my TBR is She Regrets Nothing by Andrea Dunlop. This does release on February 6th, so keep an eye out. I think it's gonna be a really great read for the month with Valentine's Day and everything kind of coming. I haven't read anything by Andrea Dunlop yet. I do have Losing the Light on my TBR, so I'm kind of bummed I haven't gotten to it yet, but I've been seeing this around and the hype is pretty good, so I'm excited to read this one. The next one is, again, this is, this is the start of the big guys. This is Bow Music by Christopher Rice, and this is going to be on sale March 1st. I am really looking forward to this. Um, I was sent this by Little Bird Felicity and Claire that works there is so sweet and says that this was really enjoyable. All I know is there's some kind of like pill that these people can take. It makes you like superhuman powers, but then with that comes struggles of people trying to use you as like a weapon and different things like that. So it's definitely got some like crazy um, like sci-fi kind of twists, I believe, and it takes place in like Arizona. I don't know. I just think this sounds amazing and I have been getting more and more into sci-fi lately and it just really is surprising and shocking because I didn't think I would like that. The Martian kind of triggered it and I absolutely loved it. So I also have Artemis on my like TBR somewhere down the line, but I am just falling in love with the like sci-fi like world, I guess. And as long as they're really well done and keep me on edge and have that like kind of mystery or thriller kind of suspense to it, I'm definitely intrigued and I think this one is gonna do just that. The next one is a historical fiction. I have read one other book by Reese Bowen and this one sounds pretty amazing as well. This is The Tuscan Child, comes out February 20th, so I'm gonna try to read this right around its release date and get you guys uh, a nice review so you can decide whether or not you want to grab it, but I think this sounds amazing. I think actually this might take place kind of in like two worlds, like a past and kind of like the present and kind of figuring things out. So again, I'm not totally sure about this, but it does deal with some historical fiction, which I really love and enjoy. And I enjoyed her other books. So I think I'm gonna like this one as well. And the cover is really beautiful too. All right, so the next one is actually my current read. It is Kristen Hanna's The Great Alone. And I cannot believe I haven't read anything by Kristen Hanna. Like her writing, has come so highly recommended. The Nightingale is probably the number one book of hers that everyone keeps telling me I need to read. It's also on my TBR shelf. I'm a little embarrassed I haven't gotten to it. It's been on the shelf for a little while. So as soon as this one showed up, I definitely screamed. This is part of the winter reading challenge from Booksmart. So if you guys wanna join in, definitely do so. It comes out on February 6th. I will probably be splurging for the hardcover of this because it is so beautiful. There are so many passages that I absolutely love. And I'm just under halfway and I really am enjoying the story. I love the environment and the characters and there's so many passages in this that are just like so breathtaking and beautiful and I can't wait to see how this kind of rounds out towards the end. So I'm really enjoying this. Um, and again, if you guys wanna join in, definitely grab a copy, do so. I would love to chat with more people about this. Um, and by the way, all the links for these books will be down below. 
It's an Amazon link, so you guys can get the synopsis. You can purchase whatever you guys feel like you want to do. Um, but I'm definitely excited to just jump in further to this. I think I will have it done by this weekend, hopefully. Um, I'm finding it really hard to put down, but I also have a hard time staying awake really late. So I'm just carrying this with me, reading it every chance I get, and I am just loving it. I do want to give you guys a quick heads up though that there are some like trigger points in here with domestic abuse. So if you guys are very sensitive to that topic or subject, definitely like tread carefully. But what I can tell you is it is a little heavy. It is definitely breaking my heart, but I also really love the storyline. And the last one that I have here for you guys is gonna be the Buddy Read for February. I am hosting it on my Bookstagram account. So if you guys don't follow me and you would like to, there's a link below to that. If you already follow me, that is fantastic, and I hope you will join in on this read. I also have several buddies that are already going to join in, and I also have another friend that is hosting a little uh, buddy read of it as well. So we're kind of like merging them and just letting everybody really read and connect over the story. It is The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. This has been getting so much hype and amazing raving reviews, and I've been told that some of the topics in here will really create really good like discussion topics, so I'm excited to see what everybody's thoughts are on it, see what all the hype is about, and just really get to like get a feel of this uh, author's writing, because I haven't read anything by Chloe Benjamin either, which I believe she has one other book, but this is being said to be like some kind of a literary thriller. It sounds so intriguing, and I just can't wait to dive in. So. February 1st, this bad boy starts. I will have all the information for you guys on my account. So if you guys want to join in, definitely grab a copy. There's a link below. Join in, come chat with me and get all the details. Um, and then also don't forget, if you guys do read, you can hashtag read with Jesse and I share everybody's uh, posts throughout the week, different photos that I'm loving. So definitely jump on board with that too because I think it's just another fun way to kind of share our love of this book and the beautiful cover that it has. All right, you guys, so this is the stack of books that I have on my TBR for February. I would love to know what your guys' um, reads for or TBR pile or whatever stack is gonna be for February. So comment below, let me know, and if we have any in common, let me know that too so that we can chat and share about these amazing books. I'm so excited and I felt like January kind of sped along but also seemed a little bit slow but I know February is just going to fly by so hopefully I can finish all these. I will be in touch with you guys. Lots of videos coming your way. Actually, I shouldn't say a lot. I am downgrading. During the month of January, I did three videos a week. February will probably be more like two a week. It is a little bit shorter of a month, a little bit busier. We've got a lot of things going on, especially with trying to wrap up the nursery, get in our classes before the birth and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely gonna be busy, but I can't wait to chat more with you guys. Lots um, of things kind of to say, different recommendation videos are coming and just fun stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.